Hello everyone and welcome to another Dance Dance Revolution chart overview review thoughts thingy and this is of Antimatter on Expert as you've just seen. Musically I did not like this song all that much at first but it really grew on me in time as I continued to play it. Uh, especially once I got to the Expert chart. This chart is so much fun to play. <laughs> Well, you'll see as we go along here. It starts out rather simple, nothing too complicated, just some simple linear steps, even though I somehow managed to miss one there. I have no clue how I did, but once you get to this point, here comes the death. <laughs> yeah, all the streams in these fast sections are pretty straightforward, but they tire you out pretty quickly, but still, they are very fun to play. Uh, eventually it's going to slow down and then it starts getting rather complicated in beats. Like you, get, you start getting some crossover in, into this, you got some 16th notes clumped in there, and it's difficult to choose if you want to use a speed mod because it makes it more difficult to read the arrows at when it's at speeds like this. And watch this, I get a decent streak going, I got a decent... Oh, oh, I failed. <laughs> I'm... Ra rather proficient when it comes to streams. I mean, I know I'm not the best, but I can hold my own on speeds like this as long as it's not too complicated. And that's probably why I like this chart so much, because it's it's fast and it keeps me going. It's just simply fun to play. And another slowdown here with some more complex steps. I chose not to do the crossovers on some of these because I'm already getting kind of tired at this point. But when you get to this last run, oh... Boy, if you're trying to get up to this level of play, you're really gonna have to push to beat this end stream. <laughs> Good lord. Well said, Pika Gam. Well said. And let's see the score, shall we? Just keep going high. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know it's iffy when comparing it to the pros, but I have fun playing this game. 